May God Almighty bless all our endeavors. We are now about to commence our event by lighting the lamp of knowledge and wisdom. This is a symbolic moment that signifies the dispelling of darkness and kindling of thoughts and enlightenment. It's our honor to invite our today's chief guest, Bishop Thomas Mar Antonius OIC, our guest of honors, Major Rishikesh Gongre, all of them to light the lamp. I request Principal Sister Adash Maria DM and Sister Grace Maria along with our PTA Vice President, Mr. Ganesh Shyadav, and our PTA Joint Secretary, Mrs. Swapnali Jagtap, to join them. Just as the lamp enlightens the surrounding, may wisdom and awareness shine upon us. As this lamp burns brightly, may it remind us of the eternal flame within us and our inner strength. Thank you, dignitaries. Moving on, I request Mrs. Srija Regu to do the formal welcoming of our today's guest. Thomas Mark Antonius OIC. His 
Excellency was apostolic in charge of the Exarchate Saint Ephraim Hurricane from 2015 to 2019. Later, in 2019, he became the Bishop of the Party of Saint Ephraim Hurricane. And presently, His Excellency was his Bishop, a party of St. John Chrysostom, Gurgaon, Delhi. Reverend Bishop has been a mentor and a great patronage for our institution since toddler. It's an honor for us to be graced by the presence of such a celestial personality. On behalf of our school, I respectfully and gracefully welcome you, Bishop. We are very fortunate to have you with us today. Moving forward, I would like to extend. We welcome you, ma'am. Now, I would like to welcome our PTA Joint Secretary, Mr. Ganesh Zadar. We welcome you, sir.
Now we have Mr. Rajendra Rajapure, our ex corporator amongst us. We welcome you, sir. Now it's my turn to extend a cordial and inclusive welcome to all fathers, brothers and sisters. Well wishers are like street lamps. They cannot make our distance shorter but they can lighten our path and make our journey easy. With lots of anticipation in my heart, I welcome you all. Behind every young child who believes in himself is a parent who believed first. I earnestly welcome our children with their proud parents. Now, I would like to welcome all teachers who chisel and shape the life of students and create best citizens of our nation. My hearty welcome to our supporting staff and the stars of our day, our students, the integral part of our school. Let's embrace the spirit of unity and celebrate as we showcase the talents and achievements that our institution make. May this evening be filled with joy, inspiration and shared pride we feel as a community. Thank you for being a part of this special occasion. Pairing with him, we have the timeless beauty, Nergis. Walks in the glamorous, elegant, beautiful, cabaret queen, actress, Helen. Here comes the Kata of Indian film industry, Mr. Rajesh Kanna. Pairing with him, we have gorgeous, graceful Mumtaz. <laughs> then comes the Shahenshaw of Bollywood, the Big B, Mr. Amitabh Bachchan.
blessings of the Almighty and to purify and prepare a platform by offering prayers in the form of dance. So, please welcome our prayer dance team coming up with this beautiful opening performance. Kunal, you are one side, Samba. Krishna is one side. Okay. Why don't you give me a record? Why don't you give me a record? सुमित माजी फ्रेम आ सिंबल नहीं तो सिंबल ये उड़ी सेते माजी पूरा ना फ्रेम ये उड़ी बस ते आ सिंबल नहीं तो सिंबल अत ती पूरा सिंबल से बाहर है ते यार ना तो माजा फ्रेम में कल ना आशी
Education is life itself. The true meaning of education lies in its ability to transform individuals and society positively. Mar Devanius Convent High School holds the function of education, which is to help one to develop 
love for learning, cultivate curiosity and resilience, and also create a comfortable environment where students develop social skills, emotional intelligence, and a sense of responsibility. It is an enduring tradition where we scale the height of success and where we set various milestones and look behind at the glory of past. With the sense of feeling of gratitude towards the Almighty God and the consistent efforts by the staff, management and students, the journey is still going. Well. With a great pleasure and deep sense of gratitude towards God, we present you the annual report for the academic session 2023-24. Mari Vanis Convent High School, established in year 1987, is an English medium school managed by the Congregation of Daughters of Mary. Mari Vanis family comprises of 2,127 students, 3 sisters, 65 teachers, 29 teaching staffs, and 3 watchmen. Our institution stands strong under the efficient leadership of our sister, principal sister, Reverend Sister Adas Maria Dian, manager, Reverend Sister Grace Maria Dian, Primary and pre-primary in charge, Sister Ashish Dev, and the wholehearted support and cooperation. Now let's start to witness all the delight and excitement. Gearing up for an outstanding performance with the showman of film industry, Mr. Raj Kapoor. Pairing him with the beautiful Nagis. Rajesh Khanna with Mumtaz. And many more. So hold your breath and welcome them with a big round of applause.
what an outstanding performance it was thank you group life is like dancing it's not about getting from one place to another but it's all about enjoying each step we dance our kg tiny tots he the call on this rhythmic journey of retro let's plunge into with our tiny tots creating memories and watching the moves of dancing diva पानी है क्या रिकॉर्ड पानी बोतल आसे रिकॉर्ड बगा नहीं करा गेस्ट चार्ज पसंद है ये क्या ही तेज़ है
Today's chief guest, Bishop Thomas Mar Antonius, OIC, a man of distinguished Bishop, your esteemed presence has indeed glorified our event and added a fervor to our gathering. Please grace us with your insightful words and enlighten us with your words of wisdom. Bishop, please. <coughs> Beloved teachers, dear parents, dear children, ladies and gentlemen, First of all, Namaste. I greet you in the name of God. That is our usual greeting in the Indian tradition. Today, as I stand here on, for the 31st annual day celebrations, I am proud that the school has grown to this status. We see the display of talents, the display of, the display of colors, and the talents of our children displayed. I know that speaking too long In a gathering like this, which enjoys the colorful display of the talents of your children, I will make my speech as short as possible. The school is celebrating the 31st annual day. Maybe when I see the crowd here, I am one of the first people who is related to this school. It was the aspiration of the Malangara Catholic community in and around Kadiki in the 1980s. That was the aspiration of this community that is the foundation of this school. When they were gathered as a Christian community, as a believing community, they wanted to do something for the society. And especially, it is the Christian tradition that we begin schools aimed at the, at the holistic development, the holistic growth of, of the person, of the society, of the humankind. And it is this aspiration of this community that is the foundation of the school. The school is named Marivanyu School because it is named after a great saint and missionary. Marivanios, Archbishop Marivanios. He was a great man, a great saint, a sage. He was the initiator of the reunion movement or the ecumenical movement of Christian unity in India. And he is also the father or the, the father in faith of the Malangara Syrian Catholic Church. And this school is named after him. Every Christian school aims at giving 
a value education aimed at the holistic growth of the, of the, of the students, the children entrusted to its care. And in the emblem of the school, we can see it engraved truth, justice, and knowledge. These are the values for which this school stands. And this is and these are the values the school is trying to inculcate in its students. Today in India, we speak of Sanatana Dharma. What is Sanatana Dharma? Sanatana Dharma is the quintessence of all human values. <coughs> and our education has to be based on this Sanatana Dharma, the quintessence of human values. Any Christian education is aimed at fostering this Sanatana Dharma in the society, in, in humanity. And this school succeeds in imparting this holistic development and progress of the students interested to its care. And today, we are all the more happy as this coming together, this cultural fiesta is witnessed by its own illustrious alumni. And we have amidst us as uh, guest of honor, Krishis Gogare, who is commissioned in the army, and he brings pride and honor to this institution. And on behalf of this institution, I am so happy to congratulate him and be cons uh, considered as a great honor that you are present amidst us today. Similarly, other alumni who are present here, I think we have the Parent Teachers Association headed by one of our ex-alumni, which also brings great honor and prestige to this, to this institution. So these are some of the achievements of which this school can be proud of, and much more we shall certainly see as the report progresses. As I would like to conclude this message, as I have spoken of Sanyadhana Dharma, in today's India, we have to follow this Sanyadhana Dharma and achieve the promise, the pledge that every student in the school makes early morning. And that pledge is, India is my country. All Indians are my brothers and sisters, and I love my country. If through our education, which inculcates values, which inculcates Sanatana Dharma, and if we achieve this, and certainly this nation achieves that, and that is the success of our education in today's India. I wish many more years of excellence to Marivanio School. I congratulate and appreciate the dedicated service of, of the staff community, especially headed by Sister Adarsha. I congratulate and appreciate the support extended to the school by the Parent Teacher Association. The school was always supported by the socio-political community in and around Uriah Kimberley. 
to, to them all, we all are immense gratitude and we place that gratitude on the court. As I said already, I am related to the this, to this school from the year 1980s. It was founded in 1987 and I was a young priest at that time. Later, I served the school as a chaplain of the Malangara Catholic community in Pune. Later, I was the parish priest. I'm from 2010, I, am, I was ordained a bishop and from 2015, as the bishop of St. Ephraim Kadiki Pune, this school was under my patronage. Now, as I am transferred to Delhi, I think this will be my last uh, public program in which I will be participating. So in this capacity, I wish many more successful, excellent years ahead for Marivanyu School. Jai Hind, Jai Maharashtra. Bishop, please continue to be here. Bishop, Reverend Bishop. Bishop, please continue to be here. I thank you, Bishop, for your motivating, insightful, and great wishes for our school. Reverend Bishop, His Excellency, we feel honored and blessed to have you with us today, and therefore we take the privilege to felicitate you. I, may I request our PTA Joint Secretary, Mr. Ganesh Yadav, to come on stage and do the honors. Arrange Kara Krishna. Audience, a round of applause, please. Krishna, take a break. Thank you, Bishop. Thank you, sir. If we want to achieve our dreams, we need wings of determination, passion, persistence, and self-discipline. And a desire to improve and a commitment to learn. Remember, all our dreams can come true if we have courage to pursue them. So, let's listen and enjoy an inspiring song and motivate ourselves to reach to our dreams. Madam Lamana, throw a mark again, I like it. Madam la mano, mic chai thodi kami kara mano.
Thank you friends for your motivational song. We carry on with the school annual report. And the third place was 
taken by Patil Saksham Nidesh with 94.80%. Marivani's family is extremely proud of you all. Education is a dynamic and essential process that empowers individuals with the tools they need to navigate the world, contribute meaningfully to society and lead fulfilling lives. It is a lifelong journey that extends far beyond the classroom, encompassing a broad range of experience and opportunities for growth. It is also a sum of different activities and processes which mainly bring into focus the social aspects of human being. So, keeping this in mind, we are in constant nudge with the modern pulse of education and the staff strive hard to give in terms of knowledge and experience. The works and performance of the students are always assessed by the needs of class test, unit test and terminal examinations. We are sure that the education we impart here is worth informing the young citizens with good moral values and all around development with good character. Our students are encouraged to appear for different competitive exams like MTS, NTS, Rashtrabhasha, English, Math, Science, Cyber and GK Olympiad, Elementary and Intermediate, Dr. Humi Baba exam, Indian Talent Search, Computer Intelligence exam. Academic activities, competition and academic activities that go beyond textbook and classroom encourage and foster a healthy and competitive spirit and effective communication skills in the students. The activities are conducted at classroom level and school level. They are handwriting competition, English, Hindi and Marathi elocution, storytelling, Rakhi making, patriotic song competition, carol singing, antakshari, group dance, solo dance, solo song, skit, debate, pencil sketch and card making competition. We have no words. In the world of song, the feet find the beat. The heart finds the rhythm. And the soul finds the song. Ladies and gentlemen, a rhythmic spectacle is about to unfold as the dancers assemble to cast the spell of enchantment. <laughs>
नहीं मालूम खुद ही ढूंढ लो रोज आपका यही नाटक है मैं तो तंग आ गया हूँ सुनीता पापा जी का चश्मा ढूंढ कर दो मुझे बहुत काम है खुद ही ढूंढ लो मुझे ऑफिस को जाने के लिए देरी हो रही है आप भी ढूंढिए <coughs>
आज मुझे बहुत खुशी हो रही है मुझे माफ कर दीजिए मुझे माफ कर दीजिए बाबा जी सुनिए मैंने कुछ पैसे बचा कर रखे थे अब हम इसके साथ नहीं रहेंगे हम वृद्धाश्रम जाएंगे और वहाँ हम जैसे दूसरे लोगों की सहायता करेंगे देखा आपने आज समय के साथ हमारी समाज व्यवस्था में और कुटुंब व्यवस्था में कितना बदलाव आ गया है आज संयुक्त परिवार का अस्तित्व खतरे में आ गया है नई और पुरानी सोच के पीछे भागते हम अपने घर के बड़ों को पीछे छोड़ने लगे हैं कमाने की होड़ में बच्चे अपने माता पिता को छोड़ शहरों में अकेला रहना पसंद करने लगे है अगर हमें वृद्धों की स्थिति में सुधार लाना है तो हमें हमारी सोच बदलनी होगी हमें यह मानना होगा कि घर के बड़े हम पर बोझ नहीं परंतु हमारी घर की नींव होती है अंत में यही कहना चाहूँगा कि हमारी संस्कृति में माता पिता को भगवान का दर्जा दिया गया है हमें उनका सम्मान करना चाहिए उन्हें अपना समय और प्यार देना चाहिए धन्यवाद Let's continue with the school annual report. To inculcate personality in native skills, and my is dedicated to more than children and to global citizens, equipped with the state of art, knowledge, moral attributes, spiritual insight, dedication, and love for human beings. We inculcate this value by celebrating various programs. Patriot's Day. In the reverence and remembrance of our heavenly patron, Archbishop Mar Evanius, we celebrate Patriot's Day on the 14th and 15th of July every year. Principal's Feast Day. A day of gratitude and celebration towards the principal. Students and teachers of Emma's family express their love and gratitude towards the principal by celebrating her feast. Cultural programs are arranged on this day by the students. Teacher's Day. Honoring guiding lights. Teachers' Day celebration in our school is a symbolic and heartfelt acknowledgement of the pivotal role that teachers play in shaping the future. It is a day to express gratitude, inspire respect, and celebrate the profound influence that educators have on the academic and personal growth of their students. Students of Mar Evania School celebrate Teachers' Day by putting up various cultural programs and greeting their teachers with flowers. Children's Day. Emma's staff celebrates Children's Day with a lot of enthusiasm and energy. Every member of the staff community takes effort to entertain the children by putting up some cultural program. Other celebrations. To foster national integration, international understanding, cultural and religious awareness and tolerance, various national, religious and cultural festivals like Independence Day, Diwali, Christmas are celebrated with due reverence and grandeur. To acquaint the students of their responsibilities towards the society as well as to make them a part and parcel of a social change, our school had organized a rally, Swachh Bharat Abhiyan, on 4th October 2023 to spread awareness about cleanliness in the nearby localities that turned out to be a great feat. Join me in welcoming our guest of honor, Mrs. Pranita Raghunath Kumawar, Deputy Education Officer in Jilla Parishad. Ma'am, I request you to kindly share your words of wisdom with us. Your words will be motivating and encouraging for our students, which will enable them to be a better human beings. Good 
evening to all. Namaskar Sarvanna. Aaj ya tikani me pailandats ale. Ya shade se naav matra me ya purvi cycle ahe. Punya madhe yon don orshas ale ani hai ekka sundar shade kadhi me ete aso mala thalo hota. Ani aatsa utsa bagun me khub ushir kela aso mala vartta hai. मराठी सर्वान्न छान समझते कारण आत्ता परंतु मैं जा विद्यार्थी इन चीन आवो बगितली पार्टिसिपेटर स्टूडेंट्स तमदे बहुतांश ही मूल्य ही मराठी होती अनि यह ठिकाने मराठी मूल्यांश जतन करत करत एक इंग्रजी माध्यम ची इतकी छान शाला है हे बहुन मला खरत आनंद वाटला शाले में दे काय मिलायल त्यामुळे मी पालकांचं अभिनंदन करते कारण त्यांनी एक छान शाळा निवडली आज माझे इथे कौतुक केलं आज मी या ज्या पदावर आहे ते श्रेय मी माझ्या पालकांना देते कारण आज 187 सर्टिफिकेट्स मिळवण्यासाठी मी जी कॅपेबल ठरली ती एका उत्कृष्ट शाळेमुळेच मी ज्या शाळेत शिकले तिथला गुरुजन वर्ग खूप छान होता आणि प्रत्येक मोमेंटला मी माझं बालपण आठवत होते तसस तुम्ही सर्वजन देखील आठवत असाल एक चांगली शाळा मिळणे ही खूप गरजेची बाब आहे या स्पर्धेच्या युगामध्ये आपलं मूल टिकावं यासाठी प्रयत्नशील असतात आणि त्यासाठी ही एक शाळा खूप सुंदर शाळा आहे आताच मी घोगरे सरांना म्हणजे जो या शाळेचा पास स्टुडेंट आहे त्याच्याशी बोलत होते आणि त्यातून मला समजलं की आपला विद्यार्थी मोठा व्हावा या साठी शाळा किती प्रयत्न करते लहान वयातूनच त्याचा विकास कसा व्हावा त्याच्यातील सुप्त गुणांचा विकास व्हावा यासाठी सर्व स्टाफ मेंबर प्रयत्नशील आहेत 65 टीचर्स इथे काम करतात खरंच एक मोठं युनिट खूप प्रयत्नशील आहे इथल्या मॅम आदर्शा मॅम त्यांच्याशी बोलताना मला जाणवलं की इथला प्रत्येक विद्यार्थी कुठल्या तरी ऍक्टिव्हिटी मध्ये सहभागी होतो आणि हेच शाळेचं मोठं कर्तव्य असतं कुणाही विद्यार्थ्यांमध्ये भेदभाव न करता शाळेतल्या प्रत्येक मुलाचा विकास व्हावा यासाठी शाळा प्रयत्नशील आहे आणि पालकांचं कौतुक की पूर्ण कार्यक्रम हा अतिशय छान शांत बसून ते आनंद लुटतायत आणि म्हणूनच मला वाटतं या छान कार्यक्रमामध्ये मी काही फारसं बोलण्याची गरज नाही आपण सगळं सगळेजण विद्यार्थ्यांच्या या कल्चरल ॲक्टिव्हिटीसाठी सहभागी होऊयात त्यांना प्रोत्साहन देऊयात जाता जाता एकच सांगते मुख्यमंत्री माझी शाळा सुंदर शाळा हा शासनाचा अभि अभिनव उपक्रम सुरू आहे त्या उपक्रमामध्ये ज्या टास्क दिलेल्या आहेत त्या सर्व टास्क ही शाळा पूर्ण करते असं मला दिसत आहे त्या अभियानामध्ये पालकांचा सुद्धा सहभाग अपेक्षित आहे म्हणून जाता जाता एवढंच सांगते की शासनाच्या ह्या अभियानात आपण सर्वांनी सहभागी व्हावं शाळेला आणि आपल्या विद्यार्थ्यांना पुढे नेण्यासाठी प्रयत्नशील असावं स आत्ताच माननीय पंतप्रधानांनी परीक्षा पे चर्चा हा एक कार्यक्रम सुरू केला आहे गत दो तीन वर्षांपासून हा कार्यक्रम सुरू असतो त्यामध्ये पालकांना आणि विद्यार्थ्यांना आपले प्रश्न विचारण्याची संधी दिली जाते ऑनलाईन हे प्रश्न आपल्याला विचारले होते त्यामध्ये पुण्यामधून सतरा प्रश्नांची निवड केली आहे आणि त्या काही शिक्षक आहेत काही पालक आहेत आणि काही विद्यार्थी यांना दिल्ली येथील कार्यक्रमामध्ये सहभागी होता येणार आहे प्रेरणा हा उपक्रम शासनामार्फत राबवला जातो त्यामध्ये नववी ते बारावीमध्ये जे विद्यार्थी एक्स्ट्रॉडनरी आहेत अशा विद्यार्थ्यांना सहभागी करण्यात येणार आहे त्यांच्यासाठी वेगवेगळ्या टास्क ठेवल्या आहेत त्यातून निवड झाल्या विल्या विद्यार्थ्यांना राजस्थानमध्ये एक सॉरी गुजरातमधल्या एका ठिकाणी स्वविकासासाठी प्रशिक्षित केलं जाणार आहे पाच दिवसांचा तो उपक्रम आहे तर प्रेरणा ही ॲप आणि हे कार्यक्रम फक्त शाळे स्तरावरच आहेत असं नाही तर एज्युकेशनल पोर्टलवर गेल्यावर पालकांनासुद्धा ह्या ॲक्टिव्हिटीजमध्ये स्वतःला किंवा आपल्या पाल्याला सहभागी होता येणार आहे मुळे ह्या ॲक्टिव्हिटीज माहीत करून घ्या यातून आपल्या शासनामार्फत राबवण्यात येणाऱ्या योजनांची माहिती मिळेल आणि आपलं मूल जे एका सुंदर शाळेमध्ये शिकत आहे त्या शाळेचा सहभाग सर्व ठिकाणी होईल आणि शाळेच्या यशामध्ये पालकांचाही वाटा असेल असं मला वाटतं 
पुढील कार्यक्रमासाठी शुभेच्छा देते आणि ह्या सुवर्ण संधीचा मला इथे लाभ दिला त्याबद्दल धन्यवाद म्हणते Thank you for highlighting all our achievements. We take this opportunity to felicitate you. So, I may I request our PTA Vice President, Mrs. Swapnali Jagdhar, to do the honors. Down, down, down. A dance performance by standard 5th students that presents the transition from retro to metro, featuring songs from every decade of Bollywood. Sounds like a dynamic and engaging concept. We have tracks to showcase the evolution of Hindi music. And dance styles over the years. But she's your best friend, yeah. But she's your 
An energetic Punjabi dance, Bhangra, originated with Punjabi farmers as a cultural and communal celebration. The dance is associated primarily with the Spring Harvest Festival, Baisakhi in Punjab. Its modern day evolution has allowed Bhangra to, receive, to retain its traditional Punjabi roots while broadening it, reach to include integration into popular music. With Punjabi Adishan Bhangra, they use the Britain logo demand. Bhangra is the pride of Punjabi culture and its love resides in people's heart. Let us relish this beautiful cultural dance performed by our standard six students.
victorious and took away the championship trophy. The tournament not only showcased talent of the winning team but also celebrated the spirit of sportsmanship. In the house sport competitions were arranged in the month of November this year for the students. Team games like throw ball, basketball, volleyball, cricket, kho kho and dodgeball were arranged. Students actively took part in individual events like athletics, carrom, chess, table tennis and badminton. An athlete cannot run with money in his pockets. He must run with hope in his heart and dreams in his head. Our students proudly participated in many of the competitions held at the national level, state level, district level and zonal level. It gives us immense pleasure to announce that students of our school have played at the national level and brought laurels to the school. The details are as follows. Our school played in the national level football competition which was held at Delhi in the month of August 2023 and we won the gold medal. Vaibhavi Mote bagged the gold medal in drawing sub-junior national games held at Hyderabad. In mini Olympic, which was held in Maharashtra, she won a gold and a silver medal. She also won three gold medals at the state level competition of athletics. Vaibhavi was also selected for Kelo India Youth Games held at Madhya Pradesh. She was also a participant of sub-junior national competition of rowing held in Chandigarh and also a participant of rowing junior nationals held at Hyderabad. Krishna Ram Chavan participated in rowing indoor nationals held in Maharashtra in 2023. He bagged a bronze medal over there. He also participated in rowing nationals held at Hyderabad in 2023. In October 2023, he had participated in athletic state competitions held at Devan. Arya Garade had participated in national sub-junior competitions of boxing held at Karnataka. She bagged a gold medal over there. She is two-time state gold medalist. That is, she bagged two gold medals at the state level. She had also participated in Kelo India Youth Games held at Haryana. There, she won a gold medal. Shiva Pandey was selected for National Youth Games of India held at Haryana. He bagged a gold medal in high jump and one in relay and in triple jump. He also won a silver medal in long jump. Mir Thorat was selected for National Youth Games held at Haryana. He bagged a gold medal in hammer throw. Shlok Shindin was selected for National Youth Games of India held at Haryana. He bagged a gold medal in relay, a bronze medal in long jump and another bronze in triple jump. Shluk Teni was selected for National Youth Games of India held at Haryana. He bagged a gold medal in relay and a silver medal in triple jump. Dia Shinde was selected for National Youth Games held at Haryana. She bagged a gold medal in long jump and another gold medal in triple jump. Sara Chaudhary was selected for National Youth Games held at Haryana. She bagged a bronze medal in 100m run. Joy Sade was selected for National Youth Games held at Haryana. He bagged a gold medal in long jump and a bronze medal in 100m run. Gayatri Kiran Dhaiwal participated in Sub Juniors Rowing Nationals which was held at Hyderabad. to call the guest of honor, Mr. Rishikesh Gogre, the alumni of Mar Ivanis Convent School, Batch 2010. I request Mr. Gogre to share his experience and to motivate our students. Please grace the stage. Good evening, students, parents, and our teachers of our school. 
I am in a tight, tight spot here. I have been introduced by my English teacher. I have spent the most amazing 13 years of my life here at this school. And it's good. It's rather extraordinary to be back. Let me tell you a fun incident. I was visiting the school premises a couple of days ago. And I was supposed to meet the principal of the school. It's been almost 30 years. I have had my own share of experiences and adventure. I have seen senior military officers, adjutants of academies who are responsible for importing the highest level of discipline. But that day, I skipped a beat before entering the principal's office. It took me a moment to realize that Rishikesh, you're not that class student from class 9th who has been brought up here because of your mischief by your class teacher. The responsibility that our principal, our faculty members and our, our non-teaching staff hold is great. Let's give a huge round of applause for our faculty members. Thank you for having me here. I'm addressing the Gen Z today. The generation is absolutely brilliant. They have been exposed to technology at a very young age. But with this huge potential, there comes own set of distractions. Today I'm going to tell you what I learned through my little experience. The first incident is about distractions. I got my first cell phone when I was in class 11th. But the academy that I intended to join didn't have a cell phone. Like there was a blanket ban on use of phones. Then came a time when I was posted in a high altitude area in Ladakh. And there I had a phone, but there was no network. So trust me kids, it does not cripple you to keep away this distraction. I'm still in touch with my friends and life is good. I've been able to learn. So trust me, to achieve something big, you have to give away your small distractions. You choose wisely. Second is about tenacity. So I had come here with a motive of motivating the kids, but I've taken a scoop of motivation for the performances on stage and the vibrance backstage. Coming back to tenacity, it's possible that the person is highly motivated or ready to give his 100% on the first day of the year, probably first week of the semester and first few moments of a match or a competition. But it is that inherent determination and perseverance which will help you excel. I'll share a little experience here again. With my education and my training, I was put captain of a rafting team where we had to cover a record distance of 210 kilometers. The river threw very strong rapids at us. It was bone chilling cold, the water was ice cold, but it was perseverance and determination that helps you excel in the long term. You know what they say? Victory belongs to the most tenacious. I'm not here to motivate you. Trust me, no one can actually motivate an individual. It's the man in the mirror. It's you who can motivate yourself. Motivation is inherent. I will also not say that I have achieved anything great in life. I'm a serving army officer. There are much there are much more things to be achieved, more goals to be reached. Last thing is about enjoyment. Enjoy your life to the fullest and you kids are doing it. Share your fun and happiness with your parents and family and friends. I have my wife, my parents over here who have accompanied me. I will also give a special mention to the batch of 2010 and my close friends 
Ketan, Akhil, Tanya, Namata, who have always been helpful in my ups and downs. Thanks a lot for having me here. Stay happy, keep learning, all the best, and Jai Hind. Thank you for your motivating words. Eh? May I request Prabhamis to please felicitate Mr. Gogre. Okay. <laughs> 
gave to the living Shahenshah was awesome. Let's go ahead with our school annual report. Raju. Educational tools. Study tools. Intellectual curiosity. It also creates lasting memories that will undoubtedly shape their educational journey. A study tour to National Defense Academy (NDA) was organized for Standard 10 students on 26 November 2023. The tour proved to be an enriching experience for the students offering a glimpse into the world of valor and commitment. An international tour was arranged for standard 7 to 10 to Dubai in the month of October. Seminars and workshops for students, a seminar awareness of good and bad habits was conducted by Mr. Donari, Assistant Police, Chinchwa Branch on 24th July 2023 for classes 8 and 9. Another seminar. Importance of Council was conducted by Father Suni on 21st August 2023 for classes 9th and 10th. Social Service Activities Mali Mani School takes pride in the strong commitment to social services, donations and charity work aiming to make a positive impact on the lives of the people in need. Our initiatives are rooted in the belief that education goes beyond classroom, extending into the community to foster empathy, compassion and sense of responsibility. This year, that is 2023-24, in response to the communal unrest in Manipur, our charity provided support by collecting grains and groceries. Total, 36 sacks of groceries and grains were sent to the people affected. MIS family supported students in need of educational help by spending an amount of rupees 1 lakh as educational help. An amount of rupees 7,50,000 is given as free concession every year to 70 students. As we conclude this consolidated report, the page is a fantastic story of the city's collaboration and remarkable achievements. From the smallest triumphs in the classroom to grand success that resonate across the school community, each moment has left an indelible mark on a collective journey. In the deepest view of our education journey, each thread represents the unwavering commitment of our students, the tireless efforts of our educators, the steadfast support of our parents, and the entire collaborative spirit of our school community. Together, we have surpassed milestones, embraced challenges, and created a legacy of excellence that echoes far beyond these walls. We raise our hearts to the Almighty in a prayerful gratitude for His invisible yet powerful hand guiding all of us. As we conclude this report, let us embrace the wisdom of Helen Keller. Alone, we can do so little. Together, we can do so much. Thank you. Celebrating success and rewarding the toppers with medals, certificates, trophies and many more not only makes students feel good but also impacts their memory learning and other cognitive functions. Today, we are here to celebrate the achievements and success of our peers who had worked hard to reach their goals and make a difference in their own lives and lives of others. May I request Poonam Miss to come on stage and do the needful. A very pleasant evening to everyone present here. I extend my hearty welcome to the annual day prize distribution ceremony of Marivanis Convent School. It gives me immense pleasure to host this ceremony that has been observed to commemorate the achievements of our students in various talents like education, sports and co-curricular activities. Far and away, the best prize that life has to offer is the chance to work hard at work worth doing. With this priceful saying, let us start a prize distribution ceremony. I request our guest of honor, Major Rishikesh Bhugare, along with our principal, Sister Radhesh Maria DM, to please come on the stage to honor our students who participated and brought glories by winning medals at national level. Firstly, I like to call Ms. Vaibhavi Mote of class 10th B as she has backed gold medal in rowing for sub-junior national games held at Hyderabad 
She also bagged four gold medals, one silver medal in state level competitions of athletics. Vaibhavi was also selected for Khelo India Youth Games held at Madhya Pradesh.
Next, we have Ms. Sara Chaudhary of Class 9B. Sara was selected for National Youth Games held at Delhi, Haryana, where she bagged a bronze medal in 100 meters running race. I now call Master Joy Sate of Class 8A. Joy was selected for National Youth Games held at Delhi, Haryana, where he bagged a gold medal in long jump and a bronze medal in 100 meters running race. Thank you, ma'am. A school football team was selected for National Youth Games of India held in Delhi, Haryana, where our boys from class 9, 10, 10 secured first place honoring gold medals for the team. I now call the team players to please come up on the stage and I request our principal, Reverend Sister Radharsh Maria DM, to please honor our football team players. I now call Master Nidish Giri, Master Neil Thorat, Master Rohan Maitre, Master Rukhvet Kadam, Master Himanshu Zadav Master Vedant Garade Master Zaid Sharif Master Shardul Hatkar Master Ravitej Yadav Master Pranil Kadam and Master Atharvarenu Se. Thank you, sister. And congratulations to all the winners. Furthermore, in this ceremony, let us witness the results of hard work and efforts put up by the students of various house and their house teachers during this academic year. I request our manager, Reverend Sister Grace Maria DM, to please come on the stage and give away the trophies for performance in the field of proficiency. I also request the house teachers, captains and vice captains to come forward and receive the trophy. Krishna, you want the trophy, you can arrange it. And you can put it on the side. You can put it on the side, but you want the trophy. Third place goes to Gandhi House, that is the Green House.
Thank you, sister. Last but not the least, I would like to terminate by sharing a thought. Awards and achievements are not just symbols of recognition, but they are the fuel that keeps us motivated and ignited to go further and do better. I congratulate all the winners once again. Keep up the spirit. Thank you, everyone, again. Group photo. Our last time, trophy for over. It's a grand, it's a grand. Sample, na. Thank you, Miss. We have come to an end of this beautiful annual day program. I hope you all must have enjoyed this event as much as we, the anchors, enjoyed hosting it. To present the word of gratitude formally, may I invite Varsha Miss on stage. Sample, I can. Good evening, everyone. Respected dignitaries, esteemed guests, teachers, parents, and my dear students, on behalf of Mari Vanis Convent High School, I stand before you with immense gratitude as we conclude our annual day celebration. This spectacular evening wouldn't have been possible without the collective efforts and support of numerous individuals. Our sincere appreciation goes to our chief guests, Bishop Thomas Mar Antonius OIC, Mrs. Pranita Kumavat, Major Rishikesh Kogre, and Reverend Father Louis DeMello for gracing this occasion with their presence and inspiring us with their wisdom. I extend my heartfelt thanks to our diligent principal Sister Adash Maria DM, our manager, Sister Grace Maria DM, all sisters, fathers, teachers, whose, he whose hard work and dedication shaped the brilliant performances we witnessed tonight. Your commitment to nurturing young minds is truly commendable. A big round of applause for the students whose talent, enthusiasm, and energy lit up the stage. Your performances were a testament to your creativity and hard work. To the parents, thank you for trusting us with the well-being of your children. Your unwavering support strengthens the foundation of our school. A special mention to our behind-the-scene heroes, the organizing committee, volunteers, non-teaching staff, and all those who worked tirelessly to ensure the seamless execution of this event. Last but not the least, a warm thank you to each one of you present here. Your presence adds meaning to our celebration. As we wrap up this annual day celebration, let's carry the spirit of creativity and learning forward. Here's to another year of growth, success, and memorable moments. Thank you. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, everyone, for making this event a memorable success. Now I request everyone to stand up for school anthem. Martel Kasome. Anthem Martel.
मैडम मैडम ग्रुप फोटो घर टीचर्स वगैरह